Coming up, the latest quantum news on Xanadu from McDade Quantum Network. We are currently in our subscriber building phase, we need your help. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, just like Schrodinger's cat, so that we can continue to provide you with the latest news on quantum computing, thank you. Xanadu's mission is to build quantum computers that are useful and available to people everywhere. The photonic advantage, the fastest path to quantum advantage, the Xanadu chip uses photonics because of its scalability, robustness, and its practicality. Scalable Most viable approach towards large-scale quantum computers, leveraging mature silicon computing manufacturability and light's ability to carry information across networks. Robust Towards fault tolerance via robust error-resistant physical qubits and flexibility in designing error-correcting codes. Practical. Operates primarily at room temperature and easily integrates into existing telecommunication infrastructure, enabling a system that can be housed in a standard, compact server rack and installed in regular data centers. Xanadu Quantum Cloud. Fully managed quantum cloud service, offering direct access to Xanadu's photonic QPUs. Built for quantum developers to design, optimize, and utilize photonic quantum algorithms without the need of expert quantum knowledge. Xanadu's quantum cloud has a built-in suite of quantum simulators and compilers. Integration with Penny Lane and TensorFlow. Library of ready-to-use algorithms. Xanadu Strawberry Fields applications allow access a unique set of near-term applications within quantum chemistry, finance, logistics, and machine learning. Xanadu Graph Analytics Dense Subgraphs Graphs can be used to model a wide variety of concepts, social networks, financial markets, biological networks, and many others. A common problem of interest is to find subgraphs that contain a large number of connections between their nodes. These subgraphs may correspond to communities in social networks, correlated assets in a market, or mutually influential proteins in a biological network. Mathematically, this task is known as the dense subgraph problem. The density of a k-node subgraph is equal to the number of its edges divided by the maximum possible number of edges. Identifying the densest graph of a given size, known as the densest k subgraph problem, is NP-hard. A defining feature of Gaussian boson samplers GBS, is that when we encode a graph into a GBS device, it samples dense subgraphs with high probability. This property can be used to find dense subgraphs by sampling from a GBS device and post-processing the outputs. Xanadu Classification Graph Similarity Use GBS to construct a similarity measure between graphs, known as a graph kernel. Kernels can be applied to graph-based data for machine learning tasks such as classification using a support vector machine. Graph Data We begin by fixing a data set of graphs to consider and loading GBS samples from these graphs, which will be needed in the following. Let's use the Mutag data set of graphs. This is a data set of 188 different graphs that each correspond to the structure of a chemical compound. Our goal is to use GBS samples from these graphs to measure their similarity. The data module provides pre-calculated GBS samples for selected graphs in the Mutag data set. Each set of samples is generated by encoding the graph into a GBS device, and collecting photon click events. Xanadu Vibronic Spectra Here we study how GBS can be used to compute Vibronic Spectra. So let's start from the beginning. What is a vibronic spectrum? Molecules absorb light at frequencies that depend on the allowed transitions between different electronic states. These electronic transitions can be accompanied by changes in the vibrational energy of the molecules. In this case, the absorption lines that represent the frequencies at which light is more strongly absorbed are referred to as the vibronic spectrum. The term vibronic refers to the simultaneous vibrational and electronic transitions of a molecule upon absorption of light. It is possible to determine vibronic spectra by running clever and careful spectroscopy experiments. However, this can be slow and expensive, 
in which case it is valuable to predict vibronic spectra using theoretical calculations. To model molecular vibronic transitions with GBS, we need only a few relevant molecular parameters. You can sign up for Xanadu's cloud access at their website today. At www.xanadu.ai Support the channel with a 50, 25, or $5 donation, or any other amount you choose. Your donations are greatly appreciated and allows McDade Quantum Network to continue to produce great news and content on the major players in quantum computing.